Welcome to the new episode of Statistical Computing. In today's session, I am going to discuss about mean, which is one of the major of central tendency. Let's see in detail. There are basically three types of major of central tendency: mean, median, mode. Let's talk about mean first. A mean is a simple mathematical average of a set of two or more numbers. In other words, it is used to calculate central value of a set of numbers. There are three types of means, namely, arithmetic means, denoted as AM, harmonic mean, denoted as HM, geometric mean, denoted as GM. Let's talk about arithmetic mean in detail. The arithmetic mean of variable is defined as the sum of observation divided by the number of observation. It is denoted by symbol x bar. If the variable x assumes n values, n for infinite, let's say x1, x2, x3, up to xn. Then the mean is derived using following formulas. You can find a different formulas on this page. In statistics, you can find a different categories of data. The categories such as simple series, ungroup frequency distribution, and group frequency distribution. So for the different category of data, we have a different set of formulas. Let's see the how to find the arithmetic mean for simple series. You can find the formula on the screen. X bar is equals to sigma x divided by n. Sigma x, that means it's a sum of the observations. Observations such as x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to xn which is divided by n. The small n denotes the number of observation. The second category which is ungroup frequency distribution. If in a question we have the variable x and their frequency. So the formula of arithmetic mean is x bar is equals to sigma f into x divided by n. It means the summation of f into x variable divided by total number of observation and in the third category which is group frequency distribution there is a two step the first step is to find a mid value of x from given class interval in this category of data you can find the classes and their frequency so from the classes you have to find a mid value which is denoted as x the formula to find the x value which is the lower boundary plus upper boundary divided by 2 the lower boundary denote as l1 and the upper boundary denotes as l2 the second step and then you have to follow the formula of ungroup frequency distribution. In the case of group frequency distribution to find arithmetic mean. Let's see how to find arithmetic mean in case of simple series. 
the example number 1 find the am of following numbers 5 8 10 15 24 and 28 you can see the question in the question you can find only the x values <clears throat> so let's see how to find the arithmetic mean in case of simple series because only x values are given so that this is the case the pure case of the simple series so for the simple series we have to put we have to apply first the formula of a simple series to find the am so first we will put the symbol to denote the arithmetic mean x bar is equals to sigma x divided by small n where sigma x is equals to x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus up to xn divided by count the number of observation which is n <clears throat> so x1 let's say 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus 15 plus 24 plus 28 these values are given in the question right so you have to find the total of this x values divide by count the number of observation 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so divide by 6 the total of x values are 90 divide by 6 is equals to 50 before to write the final answer remember you have to mention the symbol which is x bar x bar is equals to 15 and try to make a box if the weightage is given in the question right so you have to mention the weightage here you will get the marks for it the arithmetic mean in simple series is the most easiest method to find the average here you can find the two questions I have mentioned along with the answer so you can test yourself and verify the answers arithmetic mean 